hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see how we can extract text from the images so let's say if you have this kind of uh, image like which contains number plate of any car uh, this image I have taken from Google so if you want to extract text from this num number plate then also you can do with the help of uh, easy OCR and also if you have this kind of image then also will extract text from it so uh, ECR is the library which uh, in backend contains OCR technique okay means it is a ready to use OCR library uh, OCR means optical character recognition technique which is one kind of technique to extract text and uh, convert into machine encoded text okay uh, so this is one of the technique of computer vision so ECR supports OCR technique and also it supports uh, 80 plus uh, languages so if you have any uh, document or image file which contains uh, uh, supported language from it then it can extract image sorry it can extract text from it and uh, if you want to see which type of language it supports so you can go here in this link and uh, here you can see the languages and their respective code name so if you want to use any language okay so you can just uh, use uh, their respective code in your uh, code okay and uh, if we'll go below then uh, as you can see it uh, it can uh, extract text from this kind of uh, images okay and uh, now we are going to install this library so I will just open my editor and uh, here I have created a virtual environment in one of my folder called image underscore data underscore extract and also I have a couple of image which we are going to use uh, okay so now I have already created virtual environment so now I am going to activate that so I'll say virtually uh, sorry I'll say VNV scripts and activate okay so as you can see my virtual environment got activated and if you don't know how to create virtual environment then you can just uh, simply uh, google it and you can uh, just uh, create your virtual environment then you can just activate your virtual environment so here i have act, uh, activated my virtual environment so now uh, here i am going to install this uh, library called easy ocr and uh, one thing i want to mention is uh, there are also a couple of alternatives of this uh, library let's say we also have this py tesseract which is one of the library to use okay uh, so in this video we are going to see if about easy OCR only so I am going to install this with the help of this command pip install easy OCR I'll just say pip install easy OCR and uh, now it will get installed in my PC so I have already installed that okay so now here I'll go below and uh, here I'll just uh, grab this code okay before that I need to create one file python file so I'll just create one new python file let's say app.py here and uh, here I'll just copy this and uh, I'll just paste this code so here it is first importing the easy OCR library then it is uh, like reading that uh, what languages we are going to use so here I'll just uh, remove this first language and we are only going to use English okay and here uh, we are going to select our uh, quad1.jpg file instead of this so we'll say quad1.jpg okay and here uh, if i'll print this result then uh, let's see what we will get so i'll just print this result here okay and now i'm going to run this python and then app.py so i'll just run this so first time if you are uh, working with this library then it will take couple of time to actually load this uh, uh, backend models okay but uh, uh, after that it will not take much time so here as you can see it is uh, giving us the uh, text from that image but it is also giving uh, some uh, like a list of list list of integer right inside that uh, we have that uh, text right so for that uh, like if you don't want to get that uh, thing uh, like it is uh, represents the bound bounding box okay so you also you can read that from here 
but if you don't want to get that so what you can do you can just add this thing detail is equal to zero okay so here i am going to use that so now if i'll run that again let's say python app dot pi and let's wait for that so now it will not give us that uh, list of integers inside list okay so let's wait for the result and as you can see that we are getting a uh, text but it is in list right so to get a complete string what we can do like instead of printing a result directly we can say output uh, is equal to now we are going to join that uh, a list of uh, strings okay so we'll say join and then result result right and now i'll just print my output output okay and now let's run it again so and now uh, it will give us a complete string it will not give us this uh, list of string okay so now let's wait for the result and uh, simultaneously i'll just uh, let you know that uh, there are also a couple of libraries to detect uh, text from the charts okay means it it can analyze the charts also uh, like uh, in this uh, easy ocr we are going to give us give chart as well uh, we are going to give this chart but it is a simple cha chart so it can understand like it can take this uh, 8000 7000 values and also this year one year two values and it can it can generate the result but uh, when we'll give the complex charts then it will not understand so for that you can just use google deplot and another google matcha is one models to use uh, charts okay as an input and you can generate text from it so that is the thing and as you can see we got our output here that uh, we want right so now i'll i'll try to give another uh, photo which is uh, number plate dot png so i'll give, give that so i'll say number plate got dot sorry png uh, and i'll just uh, run it again okay so let's wait like it is reading this uh, photo text or not okay so we are expecting kl65 uh, h4383 right so let's wait for it and also like you can use this pytrex which is a, a python wrapper for google's testrect ocr so it is also one of a cool library but uh, here uh, like easier is easy ocr is also one of them so you can use both of them whatever you want and here as you can see we got our answer so also you can try with this so i'll just uh, uh, i'm not trying that now but you can also give this simple kind of chart and it can uh, generate text from it okay so that's all about this video i hope you got a couple of uh, knowledge for this uh, uh, like optical character recognition technique in python okay so if you if you uh, know that there are also alternatives of this library then you can put your thoughts into comment section okay that's all about it i'll see you in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye